which especially we know modern science is very successful in um, building cell phones, TVs, cars or even going into space, landing you know on the moon, all the successes, the medical technologies you know lot of successes have been achieved, but where it is missing is providing meaning and purpose to life. I agree. And uh, providing answers to these so called ultimate questions which we are searching answers to. Where we come from, where we are going, love, hey, things, I, things we can't see or touch. Exactly. And that is because it is missing from it a fundamental physics of what I call the spontaneity or consciousness that is in nature which makes things phenomena happen at their own. What I kind of understand from talking to you previously is that you are explaining the unexplainable or the items that we can't see or touch. You were explaining last week about dark energy, dark matter, um, how the universe is made up of 4 percent matter and then the rest is uh, questionable. Scientists, can't, mainstream science cannot explain it and you are here to explain it. Yes. And we're getting, we were starting to get into uh, spirituality aspect of the ultimate questions. Correct. On uh, and last time we spoke it was about um, good and evil and wh what is evil? Well, in scientific terms nothing is evil and nothing is good. <laughs> right. <laughs> it is all matter, energy, space and time. If you really look at the way the nature has built or the universe, the way it exists in it you want if you take a meter and try find an evil or good you won't find it no you take a measuring device which reads hey this way is good and this way is bad and try find it you won't find it it's all subjective it's all subjective the good and evil is in our minds it is our it's not consciousness it is the conscience given to us by religion or the morals which we have built up during evolution of humanity, the social, cultural, religious, uh, economic, all these factors which help us survive in this material world leads to a set of values, beliefs, convictions which give rise to religion, culture, you know traditions and these give us some values such as evil, good, moral, immoral, uh, do worship, uh, God, these are all concepts which are evolutionary concepts for man to feel uh, in place or to survive in the evolutionary struggle of life. Uh, if we get uh, too bogged down, we want to go to temple or church to pray, mm -hmm. <laughs> it gives us temporary relief. Yes. So, the good and evil is one set of those values which are relative and if you really look think carefully what science will tell us that the materialistic world which we perceive through our mind is relative world. What relative means? Relative means which is different but still connected. You know like a relative means they are two different people, they are related. Oh but they are connected through relationship. Mm. So, relative means two things, different but still connected. That is what rules the world, the relativity rules everything in our life and that relativity gives us uh, two aspects of each thing, everything which is matter. Duality? Duality, that is what we call duality. That means if there is a good, there has to be an evil. If there was no good, they won't be evil. Can so you're saying that can can good exist without evil? Cannot, because the moment there is no evil, there is no good. It's all the same. If it was all, let's say, if it was all one, it won't be either good or evil, because then you do not have to differentiate between the two. You, you need two things to differentiate, the things have to be relative for them to be different. 
if it's all good, let's say the whole thing was just one thing, it's neither good or bad. Because now the, the, the distinction goes away, the duality goes away. In this material universe, in the, in the, you're saying that has, that's the law for this material universe. That's, that's, so it's a kind of our perception of our mind when we perceive the material world through our mind and through evolutionary, through evolutionary uh, uh, growth of that understanding gives rise to a duality which is good and evil, like day and night. On earth, we have day and night. When the sun is falling on our side, we, it's day. It's going on the back, it's night. But the same sunlight as it comes through the space to us, in the empty space, there's no, no day or no night. It's always light. So you see that same light which does not cause any day and night in empty space is building day and night in our material world. 